Hey guys, what's up? This is Beecher Joe, and I'm here today to continue our Boom Beach 101 series. And today we're going to be looking at the statues and the sculptor. Now the sculptor is used to create special statues, as you can see here. I have my various statues with various attributes on here right now. And there are four types of statues. We have the life statues, which are the ones with the green. The next one is the ice statues, which I don't have any now, but those are the blue fragments, crystals, etc. And the next one is the magma statues, which are the two guardians and idol I have here. And finally, we have the dark type statues, which I have here, as well as here, I believe. Yes, we have those two. So I have two magma, two dark, and one life now, the statues provide various bonuses to different aspects of the game, such as increasing building health, increasing troop damage, and increasing resource production. So, say when we look at our residence, we go to the information, you see those statue bonuses. I get an extra 2,412 hold capacity bonus, as well as an extra 117 gold per hour, as you can see there. And that's just for one of my statues. So as you can see, let's go through my various statue attributes. For my idol right here, my magma idol, I have an extra 5% troop damage. For my guardian, as you saw, the resource production, the resource production plus 9%. For my dark guardian, I have an extra 10% on gunboat energy. And for my dark idol, power stone chance plus 10% always comes in handy. And finally, I have my other magma guardian, which is an extra 8% to my troop health, which is just extremely helpful. Now, you can't choose what type of bonus you want your statues will give you, but it's randomized, so you can't always get, you can't, you just kind of, it's just random. You just got to wait and hope you get what you want. So here's a sculptor, and say I want to make an idol. I can see all my collected fragments, shards, as well as crystals are located below. Now I do have four ice fragments, but that's not enough to create an idol. So as you can see, it requires seven fragments to create an idol, seven, uh, sorry guys, seven shards to create a guardian, as well as seven crystals to create a masterpiece. And then you can see all the various types or statuses of statues right there. Now, say you also want to boost one, you know. Increase that percentage by a little bit, help you out a little bit. You can use power powders. Now, I don't have any power powders at the moment, but when you do, you can click on that statue, a little bonus will come up, power powder, you click on it, get about a three hour bonus for that one statue. It can really help a lot if you're in one of those tight places where you need a little bit extra health, a little damage, more resources, more shards, more crystals, etc. Now, say you want to retor return an idol. You just click there, you have three seconds to return it, and you'll get one shard in return. I'm not going to reclaim it because I do like my idol right there and say you want to return a guardian you return that you'll get a crystal out of it now I don't have any um, masterpieces at the moment but if you return a masterpiece you'll get seven power powders which you'll be able to use to um, boost your statuses of those variable those variable statues you have which is always so very helpful and say that's about it on the statues and stuff but say you want to upgrade you know just to let you guys know if you upgrade your sculptor for me at least, this time you'll get an extra statue. You'll be able to incre increase that max, an extra thing, so I'll be able to get another idol. As well as the power powder amount to hold increases by one as well. But guys, that is just about it on our Boom Beach 101 for um, statues and the sculptor. I hope you enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to keep all things Boom Beach here at Beecher Joe's YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.